It's time for Blue Jay Sports on KQNK. The uh, audio is having difficulties here, so bear with me. <laughs> we are in Plainville and very happy to be here. Brexton Eisenhagen and Jeff Porter. And we've got mid league action for the boys. The boys get to play in the first game today against a very good Plainville squad. And we are getting things set up as we speak. Uh, there's only four small tables here, and we got bumped out of one table by our own Norton folks. <laughs> Jeffrey Frick, but uh, we were happy to do it. Brexton and I were, so it's all good. So, uh, again, the Plainville boys are playing our Norton boys. And uh, as we get things set up here, give me just a second. Okay, we are getting set up here. Sorry for that pause. Plainville boys have a pretty decent team this year. And let me bring up my notes here on this basketball team coming up today here in just a few minutes. Clock says a little more than four minutes. Plainville boys are 2A in basketball. The Cardinals are 5 and 3 so far. They score the same number as they allow, 47. Their last game was a 53-52 win over Ellis. Plainville has won three of their last four games. There's no stats available on maxpreps.com. But for common opponents, Plainville beat Phillipsburg by eight points on December 15th. So that was earlier in the season. A win today, and the Norton boys will play for the MCL Tournament Championship, a loss, and they play for third. Regardless of the result today, the boys will be playing tomorrow. It's just a, a time to be determined based on this result. Norton boys are 8-1. and one. We come in on a six-game winning streak. Outstanding. We score 52 and allow 41 for a plus 11 differential. Our last game was a 49-36 win over TMP on Tuesday. And since we began playing TMP in 2014, that win on Tuesday is our third win in 17 games with them. So it's a great win. TMP has had our number on the boys' side for a long time. Here's some quick rundown of the statistics for our guys so far this season. Eli Jones leads us with 21 points a game. Roman Hauser gets 11. Tyce Melvin gets 7. And Rylan Murray gets 5 points a game for us. We shoot 24% as a team on threes. And for free throws, free throws we're down to 63%. We still have four players that are shooting 67% or better, and three players are at 75% or better. And just updating Eli, because he's having an amazing season, he is uh, 26 of 32 on free throws for the season. You got the Facebook Live up and going, young man? I do. That is awesome. So if you want to check us out on Facebook Live, you can. And we hope that the Internet pipe is going to be big enough that things will be good yeah and you may be able to see us waving back at you as we are sitting on the opposite side of the video camera and uh, we are happy to be here in Plainville it will be in effect a home game for Plainville even though they're going to be wearing their road jerseys the black jerseys with the maroon trim and our guys will be in their home white jerseys all right, let's send it back to the studio, and we won't be gone long. We'll be back to introduce the starting lineups and get this semifinal game going on the boys' side, Midcon Elite Tournament between Plainville and Norton. 
This is KQNK. Everyone has a big to-do list nowadays. With a busy schedule, it's easy to forget about yourself. Don't neglect your dental health. Schedule a quick and easy dental checkup with Dr. Shirt. They're open Monday through Thursdays, 830 to 5. Call and set up an appointment today at 785-877-2821 or stop in at 205 South Kansas in Norton. Dr. Shirk and his staff are ready to get your smile looking its best. We all enjoy the thrill of victory on game day. Did you know that championship mentality can go beyond the field to your home? This is Mitch Holtis, voice of the Chiefs. If you're looking for a victory, the folks at Next Tech have you covered with gig speed internet for just $69 a month. Now, new customers get the fastest home Wi-Fi, backed by the best customer service at an unbeatable price. Take your home's connection to a championship level today at next-tech.com. Precision under pressure. That's what area students and athletes strive for every day. And Natoma Manufacturing Corporation strives to produce the highest quality products, along with great communication in their drive to achieve their goals. Natoma Manufacturing Corporation wishes the best for all of the area students and athletes this school year and wherever they are going in life. Good luck and have fun out there from Natoma Manufacturing Corporation, located on East Highway 36 in Norton. When life happens, Boxler Insurance will be there to help you get through it. This is David Davis from Boxler Insurance Agency. Be prepared for life's unexpected events with one of our many just-in-case insurance options. We not only assess your insurance needs and get you the policies that best meet those needs, we will also be there if you ever need to use those policies by assisting with submitting claims. Start to finish, we're there for you. Contact us at 785-877-5128 or stop by our office located at 108 North 1st in Norton. Fresh is best with wintertime favorites. All right, welcome back to Plainville. We have some players on the floor for Plainville and Norton in this MCL tournament game. Eli Jones is number two, and he is a junior. Do you, you see a program laying around, a program book? Awesome. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Roman Hauser is the senior, number 13. He's really tall. Ty Melvin is a junior. He is number one. Tyler Murray, Ryland Murray, number three. He is a sophomore. And then Tyler Stewart is number 35. We'll get the Plainville players to you as we go along here because we are about to get underway. We are just sitting on some seats over in the corner. <laughs> we don't have a table or anything. And we are about ready to get going here. They toss the ball in the air, and for some reason they're going to do it again. And... We are underway in this boys' game between Plainville and Norton. Eli Jones has the ball up top. Ryland Murray for three. No good. Rebound, Plainville. Biddle got that rebound. Here comes Dentino. He's going to fire from three, and that's no good. Ball's tipped around. It will stay with Plainville. I'm desperately trying to find the Plainville page that shows the boys of Plainville. All right, there's a steal by Eli Jones. He's got a breakaway. Will he be able to get the layup up? He protects the ball with his body but misses the shot. And score is still 0-0. We are inside seven and a half minutes in this first period. Shot is missed by Plainville. Rebound, putback is no good. And here comes Norton with the ball. All right, Jones has it. Fires from three-point range off the front of the rim. Hauser's working hard. He does get the rebound. Finds a Melvin breaking down the lane. Great pass by Hauser. Great pass by Hauser. Dished it right in to Tice Melvin for the two. Two nothing Norton. Six fifty to go in this first quarter. Plainville working the ball around against the man-to-man defense. They did a nice entry pass to Biddle. He's a wide body and he gets this ball up and in. 
Two to two, Norton with the lead. Jones has it, hands it over to Murray. Melvin up top, and it is stolen by Plainville. Passes down to Brown, 6'2", senior. They rotate it around, and it's in the left corner. Dentino has it. There's a three-point attempt that's off the front of the rim by Bright, and he runs down the long rebound. 6.07 left here in this first quarter. We're still tied at two. Bright's got it. He's in the lane. Shots up. No good. Rebound Norton. Here comes Jones down the floor. 547 left in this first quarter. Melvin's got it. Rotates around to Murray. Back to Melvin on the left wing. Right baseline. Stewart's got the ball. Biddle was just daring Tyler to shoot there, Mr. Eisernagan. Yes, he was. Staring him straight down. Referee says there's an inadvertent whistle, I guess. Norton will just throw it out of bounds in the half court. All right, Hauser's got it. Stewart drives in, does a big bump, and Tyler Stewart is outweighed by Biddle by about 70 pounds. Biddle goes to the ground, and the referee says charge on Stewart. Not sure that I agree, but there you go. Okay, Plainville working the ball around. There's a penetration by Brown. Bright's going to try from the right corner for three. Misses long. And Murray got the rebound. And a Plainville defender knocks the ball out of bounds. While he also goes straight into the crowd. (laughs) Yeah, he went up about four rows. The bleachers are, are on all four ends in this gym. Norton with the ball. We're still tied at two. Balling for three. In and out. Hauser tips the ball away from Biddle, and he'll try for three, and that's off the rim. Here comes Plainville. Hauser just about got the steal, spun around, accidentally lost it out of bounds. You can just see the determination of how much he wants to win this game. He being the only senior on the bench, he is showing so much determination and skill right now. Plainville has it in the half court. Oh, the ball ended up in Biddle's hands. It went past two defenders' shoulders, and Biddle gets the shot up and in. That makes it 4-2 to two Plainville. 4-11 left here in this first quarter. Jones drives in. Melvin for three. Off the rim, no good. Plainville gets the rebound. Wright being guarded by Jones, and he gets it over to Dentino. Here come the Cardinals with the ball and a two-point lead. 3.51 left in this first quarter. Stamper lost control of it, but gets it back. Entry pass into Biddle, the 6'3 senior. He's fouled by Murray. First free throw for Biddle is good. Making the score 5-2 at 344 left in the first period. Roman Hauser's a big guy, right? Biddle makes Roman look skinny. Yeah. Second free throw, no good. Rebound to Jones. Plainville 5, Norton 2, 338 left in this first quarter. Eli has the dribble. Hands it to Murray. Over to Melvin. We'll set up the offense here. Right side to Volling. Jones for three. Bang. Three-pointer, Eli Jones. Bada bing, bada boom, and we're suddenly tied at five. All right, Stamper's got it. There's a drive in by Brown. Bright's going to try it from three again. It's in and out, and good defensive rebound there by Norton. Here comes Hauser with the ball. We're inside three minutes left in the first. We are tied at five. Volling for three again. 
Oh, another three by Norton. This one by Dominic Valling. Plainville not liking that. It's eight to five, Norton, after a couple of threes. Dentino has the dribble. Finds Bright up top. Bright picks up his dribble. Pass is tipped by Jones. There's a drive by Dentino. He's fouled by Hauser. Norton 8, Plainville 5, 231 left in this first quarter. Brexton and Jeff in Plainville for MCL tournament action on the boys' side. First free throw misses. And the main score for Plainville sits down with 231 left. In this first quarter, that would be Biddle. Second free throw is no good. Eli Jones gets the rebound. That's right. Norton rips the rebound down. The clock's running. 2.22 left in the first quarter. Murray drives. Shots no good. Valling's working, but Plainville gets the defensive rebound. Norton 8 and Plainville 5. Bright's got it. Stamper has it on the right wing. He penetrates, kicks it back out to Bright. Bright bounces into Hauser. Hauser says, you're not getting past me. Just being a brick wall out there. That's right. Ooh, there's an attempted entry pass that is bad. And Norton ends up with the steal. And then Jaden Morris, a six-foot junior, fouls Hauser. One fifty-two left in the first period. Norton 8, Plainville 5 after we sunk back-to-back three-pointers. One by Valling and one by Jones. Melvin's got it. Jones is going to fire from three-point range again. Hauser tries to get the ball. The ball is tipped around two or three times, and Roman ends up with it. Double E, extreme effort. Valling's left all alone. He might as well fire. He's made one. He gets his own rebound. Drives in. The runner is good. Brexton, I got a question for you. Why is Plainville daring Valling to shoot? I do not know. <laughs> He's got That's very confusing. He's got five points now. It's 10 to 5 Norton. They're leaving him wide open and uh, like a clean lane right to the basket. All right. Morris drove into the lane for Plainville. The ball got knocked out of his hands as he was jumping up, and then he retrieved the ball, and the referee said traveling. So I'm not really sure what happened there, but it's a turnover to the Blue Jays. Under a minute here in Plainville. Balling up top, and again, the defender standing nine feet from him in the lane. Hauser thinks about a three, drives in, long layup is around the rim and out. Good try by Roman. 40 seconds left here. Norton 10, Plainville 5. Bentino Bentino goes all the way to the basket. Very athletic move. Left-hand layup is good. 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Norton 10, Plainville 7. Jones has in a three-point land, and that one is nothing. Three-pointer, second one for the night, Eli Jones. Plainville might want to cover us in three-point range. We've made three of them already. seconds. There's a steal by Murray. He's going to do a breakaway, and the layup is too hard off the glass. Seven seconds left. Dentino fires it down to Morris. He fires from three. That's no good, and that's the way the first quarter is going to end. Phew, that was a blur. That was. Norton 13 and Plainville 7, and we are at the end of the first quarter. Plainville had the lead there to uh, start the game, and Norton boys knocked in not one, not two, but three three three-pointers. We will be right back with second quarter action. Action. It's Brexton and Jeff. I just combined it. Brexton and action. And I came up with action. Let's go with it. (laughs) Two words, action. All right, we'll be right back. KQNK. 
Fresh is best with wintertime favorites at your jamboree. On sale this week, boneless pork sirloin roast, buy one, get one free. Baby back pork ribs, $2.98 a pound. Fresh Roma tomatoes, $0.98 cents a pound. Fresh Haas avocados, $0.68 cents each. Select varieties Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix, $0.68 cents each. And select varieties Zesta Saltine Crackers, just $2.98 each. Enjoy these savings and more this week at your jamboree foods with locations in Norton and Hill City. The power of the bear, the stealth of a cougar, and the endurance and strength of a Mustang. That's what you'll find in the ATVs and UTVs at Norton Sports Center. At Norton Sports Center, you can find just what you need, and they know how to care for them when you need service. Give your hunting an edge this year when you know you can trust the ATV or UTV that will get you where you want to go. Find your advantage at Norton Sports Center located on West Highway 36 in Norton, or give them a call at 785-877-5452. Encourage to inspire with courage, spirit, or hope to give help or patronage to someone. The se- All right, welcome back. We have the second quarter going. Is the uh, guitar switch on? It is. Yes, it is. Everything's huh. on. Interesting. Do I will it. unplug it and plug it back in. All right. I think I'm in the the line output. Okay. Plainville throwing the ball inbounds under their own basket. We just got the second quarter underway. Dentino has the ball. They get it to Biddle. He's double teamed. He tries to pass, and Murray says, thank you very much. Dick. Pocket. <laughs> 13-7. Second quarter is 7-30 left. Jones for three. Just off the rim. Hauser crashes the board. Great offensive rebound by Roman. Murray for three. Oh, <laughs> Three-pointer, second one, well, no, fourth one for the Norton Blue Jays of the night. Outstanding. Ryland Murray with that three. B-E-A, beautiful, 16-7, to seven. Norton with the lead. Morris has the ball for Plainville. Dentino has it, and he crossed. Oh, he finds a wide open. Number 23, Brown, for Plainville. That makes the score 16-9. to nine. Norton with the lead. Oh, my goodness. Another one. Another three by Ryland Murray. That is, wow, we are nonstop shoot tonight. Remember me whining about TMP making all those threes in the first (laughs) half? That's us today. Five threes by Norton. It's 19 to nine. And there's a drive by Dentino. He's fouled by Murray. Tyler Stewart subbing in for Ryland Murray for Norton. All right, 19 to 9. Dentino gets the inbounds pass. Morris has it. Dribbles out to the right wing. 6.23 left here in the second quarter. Blaineville trying to cut into Norton's 10 point lead in this semifinal Midcontinent League game. Dentino gets instructions as he's dribbling near half court. He drives in the lane, kicks it out. A bunch of driving and kicking, and the ball's loose. Melvin comes up with it, three on one. Beautiful pass, and two Norton players are fighting over the ball, but we retain possession. Tyler Stewart down low. Oh, in and out. Brilliant pass by Hauser. Almost got in the bank shot from six feet. Plainville gets the rebound. They have the ball now. There's a drive and kick and a three-point attempt by Dentino is good. Boy, did Plainville need that. Timeout, Plainville. It's Norton 19 and Plainville 12. 30-second timeout? 30-second timeout. All right, very good. We will take this time to double-check our sound and see what's going on on the Facebook live side of things. Let's see, is this cord firmly seated there? It looks like it is. Yeah, it is. And we're plugged in there. It's plugged in there. There's no extra anything it could come out of. Uh, outputs all the way. Yeah. I might turn up. I'll turn up. Does it need new batteries? It's possible our little sound box needs batteries, but... Uh, I'm going to turn it off and back on. Okay. See if that works. All right. All right. If not, it needs new batteries. Okay. 
Norton with the ball. It is 19 to 12, seven point lead over Plainville in this boys game. Clock's running, 526 left in this first quarter. Jones drives left side, gets cut off. Balling's got it up top to Stewart. And again, Plainville just leaves us alone at the top of the key. It's crazy. Stewart's going to fire for three off the front of the rim. Jones trying to get the rebound, and he does. Another possession for the Blue Jays. Jones for three, in and out. Ball's loose on the floor. Stewart gets fouled on the loose ball. Wow, this determination we are seeing at the beginning of this whole game is crazy. (laughs) Norton 19, Plainville 12. We are right at five minutes left in the second quarter. Hauser will throw the ball inbounds. They get it into Jones. I'm sorry, Melvin got the inbounds pass. He tried to get it to Jones, and it's Hauser's possession now on the left wing. He fires from three-point range, just misses. And here comes Plainville with the defensive rebound, 442 left before halftime. Biddle on the baseline, no good. Rebound Hauser of Norton. Long pass down the floor. Jones does a great job catching it and throwing it up. And Jones telling the ref that he got shoved out of bounds as he threw the ball up on that long pass from Hauser. And uh, Jones gets called for a retaliation foul. So Plainville will have possession, down seven. But wow, Roman's arm. <laughs> that was amazing to watch. And uh, in football, it was Eli throwing the ball to Roman. Yeah. Roman. And there it was Roman throwing it to Eli. Plainville working the ball around the perimeter. Morris has it for Plainville. Jaden Morris, six foot junior, he gets it to Biddle with his back at the free throw line. His back back to the basket. Bright's trying to get a pick. He's going to fire from three point range off the front of the rim, and here come the Blue Jays. Long pass down to Vollings, and he tries to hand it to Stewart, and Stewart wasn't looking. Sometimes the passer of the ball has to make sure your teammate is looking at you before you pass it. Damper does a turnaround look and rebound to Norton. There's a foul as Hauser was just bringing it across half court. Stamper ends up on the ground. He gets charged for the foul. All right. Backman comes into the game for Norton. Hauser will throw it inbounds in the half court on the side. Eli Jones left all alone for three. He probably shouldn't do that. Oh, it was just off the front of the rim. Here comes Plainville. Quickly down to Bright in the right corner. 3.25 left before halftime. Plainville down seven. Long three from Bright is no good. And there's the difference, just like in the the TMP-Norton game in that first half. We couldn't make any of our threes, and TMP was making them all, and they led that first half. Same thing here. We're making threes, and Plainville is not. Well, let's hope that the second half, like, we can still make these threes, unlike TMP the other night. (laughs) Eli Jones with a wonderful fake layup jumper. I can't even describe it, apparently. (laughs) It was a brilliant pass by Hauser, that's for sure. 21-12, 21-12, Norton. Jump stop by Dentino. Baseline six-footer is good. The fadeaway was really nice to look at, actually. It was. 21-14. Norton with the lead over Plainville. 235 left before halftime. Hauser has the dribble on the right wing. Gives it to Jones. Jones thinks about a three, drives in the lane, and a pushing foul on Bright. Roy Bright, Jr., 6-1, Jr. Both Norton and Plainville have three fouls at the moment. Stewart for three. Bang. How about a these blue Jays? Another three-pointer for Norton. Bada bing, bada boom. 24-14. The lead is back to 10. Dentino picks up his dribble a long way from the basket. He gets it to Bright. Bright gets away with a travel. Dentino has it in the left corner. He fires it in the lane. It's kicked out to Morris. Two minutes to go before halftime. Morris does a nice offensive move. Turn around, long rebound comes out to Plainville. Bright is left alone in the right corner. Joey Dentino, we got two Dentinos on the floor here. 
Bright trying to get a shot up over two defenders, misses everything. Backman has the ball knocked out of his hands. He does a great job going to the floor and retrieving the ball, keeping the possession. Hauser drives all the way in. Layup is good. He was double teamed. It didn't matter. Double teamed, just a blur down the floor, and now a full timeout for Plainville. Plainville needs a timeout and a hug. Yes. We will be right back. What an explosion of points by the Norton boys. 26-14 over Plainville. We'll be right back. KQNK. Encourage to inspire with courage, spirit, or hope. To give help or patronage to someone. The Center Sky Dentistry Clinic and Dr. Craig Kreisig knows that the Norton community gives their support, encouragement, and fantastic patronage to them and to all the area students and athletes. Center Sky Dentistry is proud to call the Norton community home for over 35 years, and they're looking forward to serving you in the future. Transform your home into a haven of comfort and style. Step into Sander Furniture of Norton and discover the perfect dining room set that'll make every meal a special occasion. Create living rooms of your dreams with the wide selection of sofas, coffee tables, and entertainment centers. And for the perfect night's sleep, explore their bedroom collections featuring cozy mattresses, beautiful bed frames, and storage solutions to keep your space clutter-free. Visit Sander Furniture today on the corner of Highway 283 and Armory Drive and experience the difference. Sander Furniture, bringing nice things to you. Are you drowning in a sea of numbers and paperwork? It's time to take control of your finances with the help of the experts at Mapes and Miller LLP. Their team of experienced CPAs and tax professionals are here to guide you through the mazes of taxes, investments, and financial planning. Whether you're an individual seeking personal tax solutions or a business owner aiming for financial growth, they've got you covered. Trust in their precision, dedication, and commitment to your financial well-being at Mapes and Miller LLP, located on East Highway 36 in Norton. As you crave a taste explosion that'll make your taste buds dance, Sonic of Norton should be your ultimate destination for flavor-packed fun. Picture this, sizzling burgers, crispy tots, and mouth-watering shakes all served up with a side of retro charm. And don't forget their famous happy hours from 2 to 4 p.m. where you enjoy half-price drinks and slushes. Don't wait. Rev up your taste buds and head to Sonic today, where every bite's an adventure and every sip is a celebration of flavor. Hail no. Here's some damage. There's some damage. Everywhere you see some hail damage. If this is the case after the recent storms, it's time to give me a call. I'm John Sanders of Sanders Construction Incorporated, and I have 10 years' experience in repairing the damage. 15 seconds. All right, I think I finally got the radio station to recognize the number that we're trying to take it back from them. Thank you, uh, Brexton, for announcing there for a little bit. Of course. Twelve and a half seconds left before halftime. Norton 26 and Plainville 14. Norton has the ball. Jones for three. Misses everything. Stewart tries to save it. And the referee says Plainville ball out of bounds. The length of the floor. Probably the best thing that Tyler could have done, really. Plainville trying to get it inbounds. They do. Clock's running. Stamper tries a half-court shot. Looked good when it left his hand, but that is halftime. Norton, 26, and Plainville, 14. What a job by the Norton boys. Uh, Let's just talk about it now, Brexton, since we're having trouble getting back on the air. Um, Norton boys shooting threes like they're shooting layups. Yes, it is great to watch them make a lot of threes in the first half. Uh, We made six threes, I believe. Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah, I mean, there's some games we haven't made six threes, and we did that all in the first half here. Um, what do you attribute that to? Do the guys have this confidence in beating Plainville? I think that, I think, yeah, I think they have a lot more confidence this game. Uh, a lot of times I, uh, when I see them at school, they have a lot of confidence, and here they, I saw them just ready. I think another thing is that, Plainville isn't really guarding us up top. We we are able to just get wide open and make those threes. Somebody needs to explain to me what the 
Plainville plan is. We, we don't have a large post guy that they need to double team down low. So why they're continuing to leave our guys wide open in three point range, I don't know. Maybe there's a evidence in video that they've studied that we're not very good three point shooters, which we aren't. I mean, as a team, we're shooting like 21% on the season, but, uh, I don't know. It's, uh, it's not working out for him. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I, you, you explained the whole thing perfectly. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. And, and the scoring isn't a fluke. It was exactly 13-7 to 7 at the end of the first quarter, and it's exactly 26-14 at half. So the same thing that happened in the first quarter happened in the second quarter. So things are going well for the Blue Jays, I guess. Yes. You know, we've been plenty of times on the other side where we didn't know what was going wrong or how we were going right. to get back in the game. And yeah. So that's it. Uh, we are at halftime here. This is the semifinal Mid-Continent League game. In the boys on the top side, the number one seed Norton boys playing the number four seed Plainville boys. And uh, later on, Hill City, the number two seed, will play Phillipsburg, the number three seed. The winner of that game will play the winner of this one for the championship tomorrow. We'll have the girls game later, right after this game, in fact. So, looking forward to that. All right, we'll send it back to the studios, listen to more information from our sportscaster sponsors. And again, at halftime, it is Norton 26 and Plainville 14 after our Norton boys made not four, not five, but six three-pointers. Wow. In that first half. KQNK. Hail no. Here's some damage. There's some damage. Everywhere you see some hail damage. If this is the case after the recent storms, it's time to give me a call. I'm John Sanders of Sanders Construction Incorporated, and I have 10 years' experience in repairing the damage that Mother Nature brings with wind and hail storms. Whether you have damage to a shingle or metal roof, siding or seamless gutters, Sanders can fix, repair, and replace Mother Nature's worst. I'm licensed and insured, so don't stress about the mess. Give Sanders a call. 785-202-0315. Again, that's 785 202 At First Aid Bank, they pride themselves on offering a wide range of services tailored to meet your needs. Need a loan for a new car? They got you covered with competitive rates. Want a savings account for a child's future? First Aid Bank will make that easy for you. First Aid Bank has a commitment to their customers and believe in building long-lasting relationships. They promise to take the time to understand your financial goals. Experience the difference of banking with a trusted friend. First State Bank, with locations in Norton, Plainville, Hill City, and Hawk. Member FDIC. Fit to Go is your fitness destination for a healthier, happier you. At Fit to Go, they're more than just a gym, they're your fitness family. The state of art of equipment is there to help you reach your goals, whether it's shredding pounds, building muscle, or boosting your energy. They're a small gym with a big heart. They know your name, your story, and your fitness journey because they're there to support your every step of the way. Fit to Go, join today. Fit to Go, where fitness meets family. United Northwest Federal Credit Union is excited to announce that we will host our 75th annual meeting at the St. Francis of Assisi Parish Hall in Norton, Kansas on March 18, 2024, beginning at 5.30 p.m. Supper and prizes will be provided to those in attendance. Reservations can be made by calling the office at 785-877-5191 by March 13, 2024. Federally insured by NCUA. If you're hearing a little strange noise from your vehicle, it's time that you give your car some TLC. At Ingo Sales and Service, they have a great selection of parts and accessories, and their expert mechanics will help you with your car maintenance and repairs. So swing by Ingo Sales and Service, where your car deserves the best, and they've got it for you. Drive in, drive out, and drive happy with Ingo Sales and Service, your best car's friend. Visit them today at 209 West Lincoln in Norton. Are you ready to build your dream project and equip your home with the latest appliances? At Cowpoke Supply, they offer a wide variety of high-quality lumber, from sturdy hardwoods to durable softwoods, ensuring your project is built to last. Cowpoke's appliance department features top-of-the-line household appliances from trusted brands. Whether you're upgrading your kitchen or refreshing your laundry room, they have it all. Visit them today on East Highway 36 in Norton. Cowpoke Supply, where your dreams take shape and your home comes to life. 
Iron Insurance Partners of Norton, Kansas is stronger together and offering to insure what matters most to you. Full service insurance with friendly hometown faces. Whether you're looking for agriculture, commercial, homeowners, or auto insurance, they can help. Stop in at 117 North Kansas or call 877-4016. Open Monday through Friday from 8 till 5. Iron Insurance Partners of Norton, stronger together and offering to insure what matters most to you. Norton County Hospital and Medical Clinic are your partners in making health a priority in the new year. Team up with your primary care provider to tackle concerns, plan preventative screenings, and elevate your overall well-being. From family and internal medicine to emergency care, specialty clinics, wound care, pain management, and rehabilitation, we've got you covered at every stage of life. Discover our services and meet our dedicated team online. Your journey to a healthier you starts here. At New Age Industrial, we take great pride in our aluminum products by designing and manufacturing cutting-edge equipment for a variety of industries while maintaining the highest level of customer service. We're a global aluminum extruder and fabricator and one of the area's largest employers. Not only do we take great pride in our products, but we're also proud supporters of the area's students and athletes. We'll be cheering them on all season long. To learn more, visit us online at newageindustrial.com. With unlimited guesses, I bet you still can't name everything available for your farm, vehicle, and more at Roy Sells and Service in Norton. Owners Brian and Kate Fondon still are proud to serve Norton and the surrounding area. They have interstate batteries, auto parts, oil, welding supplies, DeWalt and Milwaukee power tools, kids' farm toys, farm equipment supplies, and so much more. Come out and see everything at Roy Sells and Service on East Highway 36. You won't believe how much they have for you right here in Norton. Braxton. Yes. What do we have for a halftime score? Huh. I can't read. No, I'm joking. 26-14. Norton on top. Over? Over Plainville. And is this girls or boys? Boys. <laughs> <laughs> it takes two of us to uh, run down <laughs> a simple thing like the score here. <laughs> we are very happy. Uh, almost giddy, I am anyway. Uh, just in, in shock in a good way. The Norton boys hit six threes in that first half. Wow. Uh, four different guys. You know, was, Four different? Yeah, it wasn't just one guy or even two guys. Four different guys hit a three. And uh, here's how the individual scoring goes here at halftime for Plainville. Uh, there's two Dentinos, and I apologize about that. J.D. Dentino, 6'3", senior, he's got seven points for Plainville, five points for Biddle. There's 6'3", wide-body senior, and then two points for A.J. Brown, a 6'2", senior. I mean, there's three guys that are pretty tall, and you would think that they would uh, be giving us a little bit more difficulty, but if you're just joining us, Plainville's defense is not far-reaching. No. And many, many times, not every possession, but almost every possession, we would find a Norton player wide open, in three-point range, no defender within, I don't know, seven feet of him. Yeah. It, I mean, it, it's like it wasn't even close. And we're just, we've just been burying the threes. Uh, Eli Jones has eight for us at halftime, six points for Murray, five points for Valling, three points for Stewart. And each of those four guys, Jones, Murray, Stewart, and Valling, all made a three. Murray even made two of them along with Jones making two of them. Two points for Hauser, two points for Melvin. Uh, again, I was uh, giving TMP a hard time yesterday about making more threes than twos in the first half. Well, that's what we did today. We made six threes in the first half and four two-point shots. So, you know, if we continue to shoot well from three-point range and Plainville chooses not to guard the three-point line, then I guess that's what we'll do. I guess. <laughs> I guess so. All right, we will just keep it here, and we'll get the third quarter underway. Plainville, I believe, is throwing the ball in bounds. Nope, it is Norton. Hauser walking towards the referee. So the Blue Jays, the number one seed in this MCL tournament, will throw the ball in bounds. We are underway, and here come the Blue Jays. Hauser's got the ball. 
dribbling around the three-point line. He penetrates and kicks it over to Stewart in the left corner. We rotate it around, and Hauser's got it again. And he finds Jones open on an alley-oop. Alley-oop layup in the wonderful dish. Yeah, bank shot's in. And it is 28-14. to There's a steal by the Norton boys as Plainville was working the offense. Murray's got it, kicks it over to Hauser. Hauser finds Jones down low. And just like that, Norton's got four quick points. Great play by Ryland to pass to Roman, to pass to Eli for the layup. It is 30-14, to 14, Norton with the lead. Biddle's got it, and they rotate it over to Stamper. He kicks it out to A.J. Brown. Stolen by Tice Mullen down to Riley Murray with the layup. My goodness. Plainville needs another timeout and another hug. What's the score, Mr. Eisernagan? It is 32-14. 648 in the third quarter. Norton with the lead over Plainville. We will be right back. KQNK. Yep, it's that time of year again. As the seasons change, so does your health and wellness needs. At Moffitt Drug, they've got you covered from head to toe. If you're feeling under the weather, no worries. The friendly pharmacists are there to help you find the perfect remedies for those pesky fall colds and allergies. And don't forget to get your flu shots and essential vitamins to stay in tip-top shape all season long. Remember, your health is their top priority at Moffitt Drug, downtown Norton, where autumn meets wellness. All right, welcome back. We are coming out of a timeout in this third quarter, and the Norton boys get six quick points in a minute and 12 seconds. And it is 32-14, Norton with the lead. I'm thinking this is by far the best game the Norton boys have played this year. Oh, that should have been a carry. The referees thought he was going to pass the ball to Plainville player, and uh, Norton ends up with the steal. Melvin's got it in the left corner. He drives in the lane, does the Euro step, and the referee calls traveling. That's kind of a strange. I think he only took two steps there. Yeah. When when you pick up your dribble, you're allowed to take two steps. I don't, I don't understand that. But anyway, that's kind of been a call that hasn't been made as much this year that you and I have seen, you know, right. the phantom traveling call. So. The phantom? I kind of like that name. Yeah, yeah. There was a drive-in by J.D. Dentino and the runner from 10 feet, no good, rebound to Norton. Murray's got the ball quickly over to Stewart. Baseline shot, no good, rebound to Plainville. Here comes the Cardinals. I'm surprised Tyler Stewart didn't make that. He's usually good down low. There's a drive in by Brown. He kicks it out to Morris, and Biddle ends up with the ball. Hauser hopefully is okay. He tried to block Biddle's shot and went to the floor, and he had his back to us as he was sitting on the floor, so I I don't know what happened. He's kind of picking up his left leg. Hopefully Roman's okay. No, he's going to come out. Dominic balling, subbing out for Roman. Yeah, it might be his right leg. Might have taken a knee or an elbow to the thigh. Anyway, uh, Biddle made that basket, and he's got a chance at the traditional three-point play. It is no good. We didn't block out well, and Brown gets the putback. 32-18 of 540 left in this third period. And... Mr. Brexton, there's Plainville switching to a zone. Yes, I see that. And Murray says, I'm going to fire from three-point range. It's raining from the heavens here in Plainville for Norton. Bada bing, bada boom. Murray's third three, and it's 35-18 Norton. Ryland on fire. Biddle down low. He does a nice 
Move to his left with the left hand, and it's good. Because Romans and I here, they're trying to use their height more, which I think is a really smart idea. Yeah, Jones giving up about 60 pounds and a couple inches to Biddle down low. 35-20, Norton's got the ball working on that Plainville zone. And with a 15-point lead in a tournament game, there's absolutely no reason that we need to take any unnecessary chances. Rotating it around the perimeter, uh, Melvin for three from the left corner. In and out. And here comes Plainville with the ball down 15, 430 left here in the third quarter. J.D. Dentino drives in. Oh, he got away with an extra step. He had established his pivot foot, and he lifted it to take an extra step. The referees missed that one. 35-22, 4 left in the third quarter. Norton on top. Forgot to say that. Yeah, no worries. Good job there, Brexton. Yeah, Plainville is still in that zone, so we will work it around. We need to penetrate Murray for three off the front of the rim, and Coach Rusink is not going to be happy. Oh, Jones did a great job on the defensive rebound by Plainville. He tied up the Cardinal that got the rebound. Roland Hauser subbing back in for Tyson Melvin. Possession arrow says Plainville gets to keep the ball, so 3.56 clock running in this third quarter. Norton 35, Plainville 22. Biddle has the ball. He thinks about a three. Ball's rotated out to Morris. Now Bright has it. Biddle's going to fire from three-point range. And great job blocking out by Stewart there. Norton with the rebound. Here come the Blue Jays' 13-point lead. 3.30 left in this third quarter. Balling has it. Murray back to Balling. And once again, Valling passes the ball to a teammate who's not looking at him. Dominic, need to check your teammate. <laughs> Make sure he's looking at you. 3.08 to go in this third quarter. Plainville with the ball in the half court. Bright in three-point range. Biddle in three-point range. He tries a dangerous half-court pass, and Jones says, I'll take that. Please and thank you. Hauser's got the ball for Norton. Ball is rotated quickly around the perimeter. Ends up right back to Hauser. 2.45 left. Murray for three. No good. Great block out by Hauser. Put back is good. Roman just towering over his defender just by a little bit. Was able to get the rebound and make it plus. Biddle misses the close-in shot, and he misses the putback. Good grief. Two close-in shots. We got lucky there. 37-22, Norton with the lead over Plainville. 2-16 left in this third quarter. And it looks like Plainville has switched back. No, no, it's a, a box and one. They're following Jones around. Hauser's got the ball. He drives in. Double teamed. Murray for three. No good. Rebound to Biddle. Hauser knocks the ball out of his hands, and then Biddle tries to retrieve it, and it's out of bounds off of Biddle. Biddle says, Hauser fouled me, and then the referee says, don't talk back to me, son, and Biddle get nailed, got nailed with a tech Nick. Goal. Wow. A lot of things happen there like that. <laughs> I just happened to be watching uh, down there, and Biddle, unfortunately, will take a seat with the technical. They haven't put it up on the scoreboard. Is that his first personal? It might be. Jones makes the free throw. 1.49 left in the third period. Jones makes the second free throw. That will make it 39-22. Norton on top. Perfect. All right, Norton will retain possession as the rules dictate on a technical foul. So we have the ball in the half court. Valling finds Jones in the right corner. Eli drives baseline as the defender overplays. Fakes it and makes two more up. Eli has seven points for Norton in this third quarter. It's 41-22. 
Norton with the lead over Plainville. Entry pass to J.D. Dentino. Three-point shot by Roy Bright. Junior is no good. And Morris runs down the offensive rebound. His drive-in was no good. Melvin gets taken to the floor. In and out three. Yeah, three-point shot is no good. And Plainville is going to get a fourth try. Bright drives in from 10 feet. No good. And after three offensive rebounds, Norton finally gets the defensive rebound, and then J.D. Dentino knocks the ball out of our hands, and he goes diving out of bounds, almost like a a video that you would find in the practice archives. (laughs) Dentino went sliding on his chest trying to get that ball. A great effort by him. Plainville comes up with full-court pressure. Let's see how we break it. Melvin drives all the way in. Bounce pass to Jones. Layup is good. Threaded the needle right there between two uh, defending players and was able to make it two with Eli Jones. My goodness, what a great performance by our guys offensively. 43-20 to 20, Norton over Plainville. 43-22. 35 seconds left. Stamper for three is good for Plainville. 25. There was a steal. Plainville stole the ball, so they have another possession here. Stamper thinks about a three, finds a baseline teammate, and that's good from Joey Dentino, a 5'7 freshman. Ten seconds left. And Plainville gets called for a foul. Coach Rusink hollering instructions, not pleased with our performance in breaking this press here. Norton 43, Plainville 27, five and a half seconds left here in this third quarter. We will throw the ball inbounds. Norton will. Get it into Jones. Long three from Eli. Oh, man, it looked good. Backman gets the rebound. Wonderful. Where were all the Second Plainville chance. defenders? I think they're all up on Eli, trying to make him a little <laughs> shaky. Good grief. What a great rebound by Backman. The put back is good. 45-27. Yeah, as the buzzer sounds. And, uh, man, Norton with an 18-point lead in this boys game. Semifinal mid league action in Plainville. It's similar to a home game for Plainville, but Norton taking it to him. We'll be right back. This is KQNK AM and FM Norton. Some things are better together, like burgers and fries, movies and popcorn, and auto and home insurance. At Farm Bureau Financial Services, we'll help you bundle your coverage, saving you money and time. And if both are damaged, you'll pay a single deductible. Call me, Joy Johnson, at 785-877-3221. It's your future. Let's protect it. Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company, Western Agricultural Insurance Company. Rev up your engine and hit the road with confidence. Norton Auto Supply, your CarQuest dealer, is your one-stop shop for all your automotive needs. Whether you're a seasoned mechanic... We are back. These three quarters are flying by. They really are. Norton boys taking it to the Plainville boys, 45-27 in this MCL tournament semifinal game. Norton will throw the ball inbounds in the half court. And Norton boys have made seven threes in this game. Wow. Plainville's knocked down a couple of them. Cross-court pass to Murray. Wide open Stewart on the baseline. Travels. And that same referee. Now this is a different referee that called the travel when... Tyler keeps keeps his pivot foot down. He did a ball fake, and the referee said, oh, that's travel. Okay, Plainville's got the ball. Jones knocks it away. Hauser ends up with the ball. Bright's going to guard him closely. Roman says, I'll bring the ball down. No problem. Now he's double teamed. Roman is. Quick pass down to Stewart. He does a ball fake. Shots up. No good. Tyler working hard. He gets shoved to the ground. And no foul called, but it's out of bounds on us, Norton. Let 
my mama always said, if you don't have nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. <laughs> Your mom was wise. <laughs> Here come Plainville with the ball. Norton 45, Plainville 27. J.D. Dentino drives in. Good-looking seven-foot shot in the lane is no good, and here comes Norton. Approaching seven minutes left in this game. Stewart has it in the left corner. Hauser has it. He's double-teamed. Now he's just got one defender on, and Murray has it. Back to Jones. Plainville back to a man-to-man defense. Entry pass to Hauser. He's got it on the baseline about 13 feet from the basket. He drives in the lane. Hook shot was missed badly, and Stewart ends up with the offensive rebound. Way to go, Tyler. Tyler, powerful on the down low, trying to get the set, the foot back up, and got the two, uh, got the foul. Back. There you go. Yep. So Mr. Stewart will try to add to his three points. He had a three pointer in that second quarter. First free throw is off the rim, no good. Score remains 45-27, Norton. And the referees are taking their time getting the ball back to Tyler. I think Coach Rusink wants to sub in Tyler. Player, yeah. Tyler Backman subbing in for, I believe, Tyler Stewart. Yeah, there you go. Tyler Stewart. Tyler Stewart makes the second free throw. Nicely done. It's 46 27. Norton with the lead. 6 35 clock is running as Plainville brings the ball down the floor. Jaden Morris has the ball. Gets it over to Bright. Still has his dribble. Finds Morris again on the left wing. Backman guarding him. Moore still has the ball, picks up his dribble, gets it back to Bright. Passed it down low to Stamper, and while Stamper was in the air, he tried to hit Noah Brewster, 5'10", Jr., and the sound effect by Mr. Eisenhagen was perfect. Flew right over his head. Went right over his head. It's just that he wasn't expecting the ball. I think it was a good pass. He just wasn't watching. All right, Hauser hands the ball to Jones. We are inside six minutes left in this game. Cross courts it to Melvin. Melvin drives in and gets absolutely hammered by Morris. Second team foul on Plainville. No team fouls on Norton in this fourth quarter. Hauser throws it into Backman. Melvin rotates it over to Murray. Entry pass to Jones. Jones backs into Stamper and knocks Stamper to the ground. In my opinion, Neil, I got away with a uh, offensive foul there. Definitely. And uh, the ball gets lost out of bounds, and it will be Plainville's ball. Stamper has the dribble, gets it over to Morris on the right side. He gets it to Bright up top, right side to Stamper. Up top to Morris, being harassed by Murray. Brewster has it. Up top, and Jones fights through a pick, knocks Morris to the ground, so Jones will get called for a foul there. Eli's second personal, our first team foul. 5.22 left in the game. And in inbounds pass is thrown to Bright. Brewster had it. He tried to pass it to Stamper, and Murray gets called for the loose ball foul. So now those team fouls are even at two, and Plainville will retain possession in the half court, down 19 with 5.09 remaining in this game. Norton 46, Plainville 27. There's a drive in by Morris, and Jones picks his pocket. Let's see if there's any cash. Down court, pass. Murray went up with the layup, and Stamper blocked it from behind. That Stamper is very quick. There's a drive in by Joey Dentino, and he tried to dribble through two defenders. Norton steals it. 
4.38 to go. Eli Jones gets the shot up. In and out. And he was bumped by Stamper, I believe, of Plainville. Eli will get to shoot two. Eli has 17 points for the game. He'll try to add to Norton's 19-point lead. The excellent free-throw shooter, that is Eli Jones, gets the first one to go. Riley Murray getting subbed out by number 15 of Norton. And we, we're going to have to look at our program to see who number 15 is. Freshman. Don't remember his name. Second free throw for Norton is good. And it is 48-27. Norton with the lead. Plainville moving the ball around in the half court. There's a drive on the baseline by Stamper. Blocked by Hauser. There you go. Well said. Hauser gets the block and the defensive rebound. 4-15. Ashton Katz is the uh, player that came in the game. Ashton for the three. Drained oh. it from outside. Great shot by him. Bada bing, bada boom. And it is called a two. Oh. By the referee, the scoreboard only put two up on the board. Plainville took a shot, missed it. Norton got the defensive rebound. Timeout, full timeout by Norton, I believe. Very good. So it's Norton 51 and Plainville 27. And we will be right back. KQNK Blue Jay Basketball. Rev up your engine and hit the road with confidence. Norton Auto Supply, your CarQuest dealer, is your one-stop shop for all your automotive needs. Whether you're a seasoned mechanic or DIY enthusiast, we've got you covered. From quality replacement parts to essential tools and accessories, Norton Auto Supply has it all for you. The friendly and knowledgeable staff is there to help you find the right parts for your vehicle. Visit your local CarQuest dealer, Norton Auto Supply, today and experience the difference. Norton Auto Supply, keeping you on the road one part at a time. Hey there, listeners. Are you tired of squinting at your screens, struggling with blurry vision, or constantly misplacing your glasses? Well, it's time to see clearly again with the help from Cole Family Eye Care of Norton. Their experienced team provides comprehensive eye exams, personalized eyewear consultations, and the latest in contact lens technology. Plus, they accept most insurance plans. Don't let poor vision hold you back. Schedule your appointment today by calling 877-5115. Rediscover the world with clarity at Cole Family Eye Care of Norton. Your vision is their focus. All right, welcome back. I was ca- crawling back through the scorebook, and I do believe they did call that a three for Caps. So way to go, Ashton, 5'10", freshman. And Norton will throw the ball inbounds. 51-27, Norton with the lead. Melvin gets it to Murray up top, left side to Jones. Backman has it, back to Jones in the left corner. Cross court to Murray. And we are working... That man-to-man offense, Murray drives left side. His left side layup is no good, but he gets his own rebound and puts it up and in. His speed is insane. Just driving right past the defender was able to get it up, get the rebound, and put up another one for two. Ryland Murray with 15 points. There's a drive in by... absolutely horrible. They don't have the teams in alphabetic order. <laughs> Norton moving the ball around. Backman has it. Jones has it. To Murray. Murray thinks. Passes it to Backman. Out to can't think of the name. Murray. It's Melvin. Melvin drives. Moving around. And Plainville taps it out. I think you're doing the play-by-play here. Is I'm, yeah, it looks very confusing. Fumbling around this program like I can't speak English. Norton 53, Plainville 29. Melvin's got it in the left corner up top to Backman. Kicks it out to Murray. Murray with the dribble, hands it to Melvin. Clock's running, two minutes and ten seconds left in the game. Nice pass 
from Melvin to Jones. He flips the ball in the air. It misses the basket, but the referee says a foul before the shot. Two, eight, the two minutes and eight seconds left in this game. 53-29, Norton on top. I finally tracked down number 31, Trevin Ganong, a 5'11 senior. Made that two-point basket. Eli Jones down low to Tice Melvin, and easy, no one guarding him, two points. Beautiful, 55-29. Norton with the lead over Plainville. Ball goes out of bounds. Turnover by the Cardinals. And we've got Granberry checking in and Valling. They join Katz, Backman, and Murray. Here comes Wicker onto the floor. He says, Ryland, go sit down. <laughs> so Backman, Wicker, Valling, Granberry, and Katz with 147 to go in this tournament game. Not Wicker, that's Bailey. Number That's a Bailey. Bailey. I'm sorry. Sorry, Bailey. Tyler Backman getting called for the double dribble. <laughs> like a robot move. Yeah, Jace Bailey, number 10. Very good. Here comes Plainville with the ball. Clock's running. 137 left. 55-29. Norton with the lead. Plainville works the ball around. Entry pass in two. Number one for Plainville, and then that same Ganong makes a runner from about 13 feet. Nicely done. 120 left in this game, 55-31. Valling on top, over to Backman. Backman to Granberry. Granberry going up, gets fouled, and I believe will be shooting too. At number 13 for Plainville, Riley Rogers, a 6'3 sophomore, gets called for the foul. Granberry will be shooting two. First free throw is up and nothing but net. If I remember right, that makes Rowan three for three on the season. I believe so. Guy's got a lot on the line here. Can he keep 100% for the season? Oh, yes, yeah, can. never a doubt. Mr. Granberry hits both free throws. Making it 57-31. There's Hudson Wicker checking in for Dominic Valling. Here comes Plainville with the ball. We're approaching one minute left in this game. Norton 57, Plainville 31 in this semifinal Mid-Continent League game. Plainville working the ball around the perimeter. Joey Dentino has it. Ganong passes over the right to Rogers. Back to Ganong, and a nice pass down low. The shot's missed by Drayden Puckett, a six-foot sophomore. Plainville gets the offensive rebound. 30 seconds left in this game. Foul. On Norton, number 12, Hudson Wicker, gets Hudson called Wicker. for the foul. Yeah. He was playing good defense, moving his feet, just got called for the bump. Checking in now is Eli Liker, number five. Inbounds pass was thrown to number one, Puckett. And there's a steal. Cat stole it. Bailey got the rebound of the miss. And apparently it's... Yeah, Bailey got the offensive rebound, and he went to dribble. It dribbled it off his foot. Here comes Flaming Little with the ball. We are inside 15 seconds to go in the game. And a bumping foul is called on Norton with 11 seconds left. Norton's going to cruise to a 20-plus point win here. He's going to be playing in the championship game tomorrow. In the final game of the tournament, Plainville throws it in. Three-point shot by Connor Balthazar is no good. Offensive rebound, Five. Plainville. And that's going to do it. Norton's going to get the win at 57-31. What a great offensive performance by our guys. Wow. 
if uh, you had to give them an A, I would give them an A plus. Yeah, yeah, an A plus is not good enough, I don't think, to describe how well our boys played in this game. Norton boys get the win, 57-31. Brexton and I will be right back to explain what we saw and run down the individual scoring. This is Blue Jay basketball on KQNK. Norton beats Plainville 57-31, and we'll be in the championship game tomorrow in the mid League Tournament, KQNK. What makes Pioneer brand list E3 soybeans different? Pioneer offers proven products and decades worth of expertise to help make growers successful. Clydesdale Agronomy has the expertise and support to help growers successfully adopt this responsible weed control system. Learn more at pioneer.com slash enlist E3 or contact your local Pioneer sales representative, Randy Clydesdale at 785-871-7745. Go Blue Jays! Everyone has a big to-do list nowadays. With a busy schedule, it's easy to forget about yourself. Don't neglect your dental health. Schedule a quick and easy dental checkup with Dr. Shirt. They're open Monday through Thursdays, 8.30 to 5. Call and set up an appointment today at 785-877-2821 or stop in at 205 South Kansas in Norton. Dr. Shirk and his staff are ready to get your smile looking its best. Too much football? (laughs) There's no such thing. Especially not when Next Tech has you covered with the fastest internet and the best combination of streaming and live TV. Get gig speed internet and deluxe TV now for the perfect football watching experience. You'll never have to choose which game to watch. Next Tech lets you catch them all. Buffer free at an unbeatable price. Don't miss the action. Get started at next-tech.com today. Precision under pressure. That's what area students and athletes strive for every day. And Natoma Manufacturing Corporation strives to produce the... All right, welcome back. We have a final between Norton and Plainville boys. The final score was Brexton? 57-31. Norton won and is going do the championship. It was just a crazy good offensive performance by the Norton boys. Score at the end of the first period was 13-7 to Norton. The same amount of points by each team was scored in the second quarter, making it 26-14 at halftime. Norton boys made six three-pointers in that first half, and we made two three-pointers in the second half. A great showing by Ryland Murray, sophomore for Norton. He had 15 points. Eli Jones, wow. Old Steady had 18. Five points from Valling, four points each from these three guys, Hauser, Melvin, and Stewart. Really well done. Three points from Katz, two points each from Backman and Granberry. Two, four, six, eight, nine Norton players. Scored. Wow. Yeehaw, I got to love that. That is great to see. Yeah, yeah. The uh, scoring for Plainville, J.D. Dentino had nine. <clears throat> Biddle had nine. Four points each for Brown and Ganong. Three points for Stamper. And two points for number 11 of Plainville. And the the uh, Med Connell League program is so scrambled that I'm not even going to try to track down who number 11 for <laughs> Plainville is. I apologize for that. Okay. Norton boys cruising to a big win over Plainville. Number one seed in this tournament, Norton boys. Get the win over the number four seed, Plainville boys. If you have not seen the mid League brackets online, you got to be able to speak three languages and read Braille with your fingertips. Braille. To be able to figure out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> The boys of Norton will play in the championship game tomorrow. Do we know against who yet? It will be against the winner of number two seed Hill City and number three seed Phillipsburg. Uh, Crazier things have happened, but my guess is Hill City will win that game. Never know, though. That's why they play the games. We do know that the game is in Plainville. We do know that it is tomorrow, and we do know that it will be approximately 4 p.m. Now, it's the last game of five games tomorrow in this big gym 
Yes. So it's certainly possible that the game will not be at 4 p.m. It might be a lot later in case one of the four games before this one uh, goes into overtime or is delayed for some reason. Right. So the first game tomorrow is supposed to be at 10 a.m. in this gym. And then you got game two at 11.30 approximately, game three at 1, game four at 2.30. So if things go as expected, we will have the boys game around four. All right. So that is it there. Um, what did you like about our boys' performance, Brexton? Our threes, our passing, our steals, all of the above. We played tremendously. Our determination was unmatched compared to Plainville. Really, really sweet. Eight three-pointers made for our Norton boys. Just a fantastic job. We shoot 21% on the season. I think that went up in this game. A uh, really nice job by the guys getting the win, 57-31 over Plainville. All right, if you got nothing else going on on this Friday, you might as well hang in there with us either on Facebook Live or on the radio. The girls' game is coming up next. Rex and I are going to tear down our stuff and move it across the gym so we can sit on a table as we were just calling the game here with things in our lap uh, in a couple of bleacher seats. So bear with us. We're going to move across the gym and get set up, and then we will be uh, back with you just as soon as we can. Blue Jay basketball and KQNK, Norton girls game coming up against the center very soon.